Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. More daunting is the most important part in the process of dyeing with natural colors. There are many different ways how to more than dependent of the result that you want and the fabric that you have. In this video I'm going to explain the process that I use to more than fabric made of cellulose. But why more than thing is so important? It is important because it helps the color to bind with the fiber. If we don't have any mordantine solution, the color is very often will wash away or will fade with time. So the mordant will help the color to stay in the fabric for longer. Okay, I just want to say that in this video, I'm going to use potassium alum as the mordantine agent. I have read online and there is a lot of people that are afraid of this element that is sold. If you don't feel comfortable using potassium alum, I have another video in which I explain how to pretty the fabric using soy milk. I'm going to leave the video on the description and also here. We're going to start to weight all the fabric that we have. I'm going to use one fiber that is 100% cotton and other one that is 100% linen. And we're going to use 10% of the weight of the fabric in potassium alum. After doing all the calculation, this is the amount of potassium alum in total that I have to use. Then we're going to weigh the potassium alum on a glass container. And we're going to add boiling water. and mix until it's all diluted. If you need, you can add more water. I recommend to use a face mask and gloves when you are working with natural dyings. and to always work in a ventilated space. Now we're going to take a pot and we're going to fill it with water. And we're going to add the potassium alum mix to the water. Mix and turn up the heat. After a couple minutes, add all your fabric or yarn. And leave to simmer for one hour.
mix often so all the fabric take the water evenly. After one hour, take off the pot from the heat and leave the fabric soak for the night. If you need, you can add more water. The next day, mix the fabric. and remove all the excess water. The water that is left, you can store it in a glass container and use it later. Then let all the fabrics to dry in the wind. When you want to use the fabric, wash them really well before putting into the color bath. Now we have oral fabric treat and ready for the next step. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to help me grow. The next step will be dyeing with the natural color. So if you want to dye using onion skin, I recommend to check this video. Or if you want to dye using avocado skin, I will leave the video here. And also remember to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.